So I remember between eighth to ninth grade, the majority of my life really just consisted of me waking up around 8 a.m. And the first thing I would do in the morning is hop on Minecraft. And I would check out this server that I was playing on. It was pretty much like a faction server. You know, you're going up against different factions and you guys are like trying to pretty much raid each other's bases all the time. And I would always just check every single morning if my base was raided or not. And I remember some days I would wake up fucking angry because I would see everything was raided. All my loot, all my diamonds, all of like my enchanted shit was gone. And I would be so fucking angry. I'm like, what the hell? Starting off your day like that, dude, it's fucked. But yeah, most of my days really just consisted of me just waking up, playing Minecraft. You know, I would make a breakfast, come upstairs, play some Minecraft, take a poop, uh, play again, you know, really grind on this faction server, try to get all my shit enchanted, trying to get like god armor and shit so I could fuck up people, trying to like raid other people's bases, all of that. And yeah, I remember I had my own faction uh, clan. I remember I had my own and I remember this one chick that I had in it and we would always like be flirting on Discord and this bitch was all the way from like Ohio. I'm from Connecticut, so like, yeah, it was pretty much like I was trying to, you know, get some e-girls, all that, man, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, man, like, it, it was fun, right? Like, this time period was so enjoyable because I didn't really have much to worry about, like, I was, you know, like, freshman year of high school, uh, not, not in crazy, my classes weren't crazy, you know, I adjusted to high school, like, okay-ish in terms of work, I mean, I wasn't really enjoying high school, though, and but for me, Minecraft was like that escape, right? And it felt good, like it did feel good, but there would also be times in which I was just extremely miserable and depressed. I mean, I was in my room in 90 degree weather during the summer and I would get so sweaty, dude. Like I could literally just feel the sweat going down my butt crack and I would get so like angry and shit like that. I would get like rage moments in Minecraft, even when like my mom would check up on me sometimes. You know, because like, God damn, I was not <laughs> out my room at all. She would check on me sometimes and I would yell at her. I'd be like, get the fuck out. You know, it, it was messed up. You know, I was a very angry type of person. And yeah, I just felt like complete shit. Didn't really have any confidence, obviously, because I was talking to e-girls instead of actual bitches. I didn't think good of myself. I was pretty fat. Didn't dress up well at all. Was wearing like the Pokemon shirt to school. Didn't have any sort of dress style at all. So... Yeah, I was pretty much a bum for the most part. Now, this started to change in November when I took up wrestling. So I've explained this on my channel like multiple times, but pretty much one of my friends was talking to me about wrestling in uh, high school and how he does it. And in my head, I thought of wrestling as like the WWE. So I was like really interested and he invited me to like come and try it out. So I remember the first day going in the locker room and just being super intimidated by everyone and just practicing for the first day and holy fuck dude i've never done a sport as intense as wrestling after my first day of wrestling practice i couldn't walk i could barely walk i was limping home i was limping in the hallways the next day i even had like one of my advisors come up to me and be like danny like are you fucking good because i see you limping bro and i would tell him like oh yeah you know it's from wrestling you know wrestling is very tough whatever and yeah i would be lying to you if i said that i enjoyed it at first i absolutely hated it and i actually got really frustrated because well wrestling was like from 2 45 to 5 30 so class school would end at like 2 10 and then we would pretty much just report right away uh we'd have like 20 30 minutes to chill do whatever but then right after that, 2.45, that's when wrestling practice began. And we would be practicing up until, I believe, like 5.30. So this would take like two and a half hours, even three hours, because I would have to come home. I would have to like go shower because I was just so fucking musty. So yeah, like it took out a lot of time for me playing Minecraft. And that used to frustrate me at first, but that was actually a blessing in disguise. Over time, I started to build more confidence. I started to notice I was actually losing weight my head started to become more slim. I started to feel better about myself and I wasn't really playing Minecraft nearly as much. And it was actually a pretty good time period, man. I just felt better mentally. And that's because I wasn't inside my room all day. Now this kind of changed after wrestling ended because I just went back to my bad habits right away, but it wasn't really long until 
actually my wrestling coach encouraged me to start training in the off season. And after realizing just how bad I did in my first uh, season of wrestling, I mean, I only won one single JV match. I actually wanted to like get better and I was willing to go ahead and improve myself. So my wrestling coach recommended me to start going to the gym, start lifting weights. So that's pretty much what I did. There was this PT dude that would pretty much just teach me how to lift weights and everything like that. And I started to enjoy the process of hitting the gym. And I would be in the gym like four or five days a week. And I would also start to do like off season wrestling at some club. Uh, I would go there like two days a week. And I just started to be like out more. So I started to really be out with my family more. My mom bought me a new bike and I was able to just bike outside and just have a lot of fun. And yeah, dude, like honestly, wrestling really did change my life, man. I was a complete loser, man. I was such a loser, such a weirdo. Like I didn't have any socialization skills. I barely had any friends. Like I had no confidence in myself at all. Once I took up wrestling, all those things really just changed. For like the first time in my life, I felt good. I didn't feel like this slob that would just sit on his musty ass chair eating fucking chips and just playing Minecraft all day. I actually felt for like the first time in my life, genuine happiness. When I was playing Minecraft, like I felt super comfortable and it felt good, right? But it was like a temporary type of good. It was only just temporary, really. I felt good for you know, maybe like the first hour or two playing Minecraft, chilling in the morning, watching the sunrise, it felt good. But then as the day would go on and you know, it became hotter and I would start to sweat in my room and you know, I wasn't getting any sunlight, wasn't really doing anything. That's really when I just became depressed, man. And I think wrestling changed that for me. And I'm just so fucking grateful for wrestling. Without wrestling, I wouldn't be doing what I am right now. Like making videos, talking about my journey in martial arts. So I'm just forever grateful, man. If I didn't do wrestling, I would probably be the same dude. Like I would be the same antisocial weirdo that would just play video games. Like I would still be playing video games at the age of 21 for 16 hours a day had I not taken up wrestling. So taking up wrestling was a huge, huge turnaround in my life. So what I'm gonna highly recommend, man, like if you're in that same position where you're playing video games all day or you're just indulging in bad habits, I would really recommend, man, like Take up a martial art. If you're in high school, I would definitely try to take up wrestling if you guys have it because with wrestling, you don't gotta worry about paying for like, you know, competing in tournaments and shit like that. It's something you gotta do with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But if you're out of high school, if you're like in college or, you know, you're just out of, you're out of school, I would recommend, man, like join your local martial arts gym, you know, whether boxing, Muay Thai, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, don't matter. It doesn't really matter what sport you end up doing because you're still gonna get the same benefits and rewards at the end of the day, just like I did. Now I'm excited to announce that I've just built a brand new course called the Fighter Mindset. So the most important thing when it comes to martial arts is your mindset. If you don't have a good mindset at the end of the day, you're fucked. You won't be able to win any sort of competitions. Doesn't matter how good your technique is or anything like that. You won't win competition. So that's why I built this course just for any sort of martial artist. Doesn't matter what you do, boxing, Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, whatever, you're still gonna benefit out of this course. So check it out. The first link is in the description below. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe and remember my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, stay hungry.